السلام علیکم دس از یور ہوسٹ سلیم بن محمد رفیع اینڈ ہیئر از مائی یوٹیوب چینل زمیر یونیورسل وائی ٹو فائٹ اے پرسن ہو ریموو یو فرام دا ہوم دی ہاؤس یو پوزیس اینڈ دا پلیس یو لیوڈ این ایور اینڈ یور جنریشنس از الاؤڈ ٹو یو بائی the creator of the universe it has been revealed in surah al-baqara in verse 190 surah al-baqara is the second surah of the holy quran revealed to prophet muhammad peace be upon him and i read the english translation of that verse 190 fight for the sake of allah those that fight against you but do not be aggressive allah does not love the aggressors and in verse 191 of the same surah al baqara to is clearly ordained kill them wherever you find them drive them out of the places from which they drove you idolatry is worse than carnage but do not fight them within the pre sinks of the sacred mosque which is khana kaba unless they attack you there If they attack you, put them to the sword. Thus shall the unbelievers be rewarded. But if they resist, know that the Allah is forgiving and merciful. Now, I will also with this have one of the American women follow and tell you the punishment for those where you do not fight for your right and they get you out as they have done to you from north gaza with false promises lies the south is safe and then they bombed south destroyed all your hospitals destroyed your place of worships mosques churches the universities colleges schools infrastructure museums even thousands and thousands of years old archives and mosque after masjid al aqsa which was a deliberate thing so there can be nothing so dirty so filthy so cruel as these jewish or special branch of jewish the zionist has inflicted upon you when you been allowed to do this thing and hamas is your son is your grandson or your husband or brother has taken up the fight to push them back why the hell is this to and cry on october the 7th when you been doing this thing for the 75 years demolishing their homes occupying their agriculture land destroying their olive groves grapes closing their roads putting thousands of barriers and bringing up the dirtiest the filthiest the scum of the society the womenizers the drinkers the ball headed beast from all across the world and settling them in their land as it belonged to their father so they have every right to take up the arms and break that bloody concrete wall use gliders or jump over it destroy your intelligence get your general and get your all the computers with the information of all that intelligence which mossad and your all dirty agencies made to just harm and kill the palestinians and gazans people you have trapped in the open air jail for almost almost 
a century because the process of Zionism started almost 100 years ago. The first Congress and that's the ideology you follow and that's why you inflict these cruel and criminal acts and some of them which I will report with this so that you see the punishment that what's going to happen to you that Jonathan Yahoo the mentally deranged then your parent then your defense minister saying with pride look at his bloody beast face he says if we cut off electricity cut off water cut off food and he's God he's playing God the hell this blind man this idiot this schizophrenic does not realize that the spring which come out of this even all the soil and if the God wished will provide them food and will provide them patience and ultimately they will be victorious and the time has now come that total this cruelty which has been reached upon these Palestinians who gave these people refuge food and shelter and they gradually criminally occupied their land and now first they pushed them out in 1940s then they pushed them in 1960s and now the remaining now they want Gaza emptied and they want and they push them in the desert or in the ocean and the whole world the humanity is dead 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 and I repeat again dead if it was another color and another nation and not these scum of the society which the Hitler put in the incinerators and the gas chambers you would have seen that the air squadrons jets hundreds with bombs in it and eliminating every idea of soldier and every silencing idea of gun and enforcing ceasefire which the United States Security Council has asked for immediate humanitarian ceasefire broken the barriers at Rafah and let thousands of trucks not their money not sent by them but from the all across the world both the Christian Buddhists, Hindus, Muslims, irrespective of religion, people send food convoys, but they are stopped there and they find one or another excuse so that they starve, they die of heart dehydration and starvation. And they're picking up pieces of rotten chicken from the garbage and see the boy crying that they call him a garbage boy. See this little girl screaming and see what you've done, your bombs, you've done. You proud, that's your bravery, that's how covered you are. So the time has come for your complete destruction and elimination due to your own doing, due to your own insistence. You've been given time and time again for ceasefire and have two state solution. If you had been uh, honest and had cut into half, exactly half, and had the Palestinian state with their capital Jerusalem you could have lived in peace with your own airports your own cities your own beaches but you didn't you were so selfish you greedy and see what the greed has done to you so one of your own mentally deranged man is now governing you and look at the infighting inside the Israel you are now short of blood all your north is empty. They are now hiding and it's they, you are giving them money and they are, you are rescuing in other people's homes. Your businesses are closed. Your ships cannot reach you. Your food cannot reach you. And soon you will have no bombs and ammunitions and your jets. You will run out of your oil and gas and be trapped and die like a mouse. That's your fate you deserve and that's what I give you both. I gave you your own woman telling you the Surah Nisa and the verse where your skin will be scorched, new skin will be replaced and you'll be scorched again so that you can feel your punishment. And that's what is in the waiting for you, Netanyahu. That's what's waiting for your war council. 
that's what's facing for you with that rabbi that bloody rabbi who told you that you are someone who is hi i'm um reading surah 4 al nisa and i came across a um aya uh, verse that struck me as pretty um hardcore and i want to read it to you and then i want to tell you my reaction surah 4 verse 56 those who are ungrateful for our signs, we will scorch them in a fire. As often as their skins are wholly burned, we will substitute with other skins so that they will experience the punishment. Truly God has been almighty wise. All right, so if you would have asked me six months ago to read this verse and comment on it, I would have said something really different. I would have said, um, that seems pretty harsh. And I don't know about a God who can do that to humans. Um, but then I saw what's happening to the Palestinians and the horror being inflicted upon them and by my own government, who are paying for the bombs, supplying the bombs in the billions of dollars. And I realized that this punishment is, is okay by me. Six months ago, I would have thought, I would have told you, even though I'm 53 years old, I would have said, I truly believe that every person is a good person deep down and all people deserve forgiveness for past actions but at this point no no I understand this verse now and I'm sorry for what my government is doing to the people of Palestine and how we're complicit I'm really, I'm really sorry. Yeah, this night and the uh, day before uh, are misleading information from the Israeli side and unfortunately also from the American side because in order to exercise the maximum pressure on the negotiators from the uh, side of the resistance uh, to yield to the uh, Israeli will, uh, we are negotiating for ending the aggression. We are negotiating for a ceasefire. We are negotiating to relieve the suffering of our people and to allow our people who have to give me to my mother today, call it, call it. And I'm still in my mind, and I'm all in the thing. As Lama Bahati Mohammed, no, Bahami, Lahno Robahano, say, we can be said as does the Asha, but more is our father. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. مش عارفه رفعنا الرايه البيضاء رفعنا الرايه البيضاء والدبابه كانت جنب الدار بالضبط جنب الدار على باب الدار وصارت ترمي قذائف وانا رايح اشوف ابويا وامي رجعنا لجوف تحت الرادم كانوا بدي اطلعهم لو صاروا يرموا علينا القذائف شو خليت اولادي ومرتي وطلعنا وهي اخت اصابعها مكسرين هيني رايحه على المستشفى هلا قالنا شيء ورمى الصاروخ علينا مباشر مباشر رمى علينا وخمسه سبعة ايام تقريبا ما كناش ولا شيء ولا شيء طلع now more than ever, it is time for an immediate humanitarian ceasefire. It is time to silence the guns. Palestinians in Gaza, children, women, men, remain stuck in a non-stop nightmare. Communities obliterated, homes demolished, entire families and generations wiped out, with hunger and starvation stalking the population. It is time for an ironclad commitment by Israel for total and fettered access for humanitarian goods throughout Gaza. And in the Ramadan spirit of compassion, it is also time for the immediate release 
of all hostages. And I want Palestinians in Gaza to know you are not alone. People around the world are outraged by the horrors we are all witnessing in real time. It is our only hope. It's time to truly flood Gaza with life-saving aid. The choice is clear, either surge or starvation. Let's choose the side of help, the side of hope. And the right side of history. Universal Television को subscribe करना ना भूलें। उसके बाद bell button पे click करें और अपने comments के section में अपने king थी जो ख्यालात का इजहार जरूर